Well, as the hopefully peaceful transfer of power takes place in Washington, D.C. tomorrow, law enforcement here is prepared for any violence that may occur in our backyard, Jeff. Yeah, they certainly are, Pat. While they stress that there is no credible threat, they are not taking any chances at all. CBS 2's Rachel Kim is live in downtown with a show of force behind you. Rachel. Yeah, Jeff and Pat, earlier this afternoon, L.A. City and county leaders said that they are prepared to make sure we see a peaceful inauguration day tomorrow here in L.A. County and surrounding areas. They said they fully support everyone's right to protest, but they also made clear that they will not tolerate violence anywhere. Around downtown L.A., some businesses are boarding up today, making sure their stores are protected from any potential problems tomorrow. After the violent attack on the U.S. Capitol on January 6th, the FBI has warned of plans for armed protests in Washington and all 50 state capitals ahead of President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration. So whatever happens, happens, and I hope nothing will happen, but we are worried. We were told to close. Little Tokyo was told to close down for the, tomorrow, but we're not going to close down. We can't. We need to. We need to be running. Candy Kiswani is the owner of Mike's Deli in downtown LA. Her business is steps from LA city and county government buildings, where security has been ramped up because of the planned protests. LAPD has been in uniform since yesterday. The entire organization. We've been working 24 hours a day, seven days a week on the intel cycle on planning for eventualities and potentialities. This afternoon, local and federal leaders spoke about their coordinated effort and the ramped up security in place around our government buildings and other places that may be targets. Authorities say there will be a visible law enforcement presence on the ground and in the air. They are prepared if protests turn violent. We're also collaborating with Homeland Security through what is known as a fusion center, which essentially connects all law enforcement. This is a bridge between federal, state, tribal, and local entities. And remember, we cannot stress enough how important information and intelligence are. The FBI's Los Angeles field office says they have a 24-hour command post to monitor threats. As of today, they said there are no known specific or credible threats to our area. Our investigative focus is only on individuals who commit acts of violence or threaten the public and the safety of others. Candy Kiswani has a message for them. For everyone out there that's watching this, just please be peaceful. Be courtesy to everybody else. Everybody's dealing with all this COVID. That's all we're asking. Again, authorities are asking if you have any information about planned violence tomorrow, please contact the FBI, the LA County Sheriff's Department, or the LAPD. As they say, if you see something, say something. Reporting live in downtown LA, Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News. Rachel